So let's pull out some oven bake clay and some things we have around the house and see what we can make. As you can see, I'm wearing some clay art that looks like food, pizza. And I'm also wearing ice cream. So let's try to create some ice cream, pizza, and whatever else comes to mind. You can get your primary colors, which are yellow, red, and blue. And you can add on a white and a black. That way you can make things darker and you can make things lighter. If you have these three colors, you can pretty much make everything because they're your primary colors and they're amazing. But you can use any colors. And you're gonna need something that's sharp and pointy. So I'm using this skewer here, which has also got her hair on my teeth, and a roller here. If you don't have a roller, you can use something around your house that happens to be cylinder. I'm sure there's something. And here is a nice little cutting tool here. You can use a plastic knife or a butter knife. And here's my little pizza cutter there. Oh yeah, and it spins. I like that. You can use a pizza cutter or you can just use your knife. This is just extra because I honestly, I just like to make it spin. Now, let's get to work. All right, let's go over the basics of creating different colors. Now, I would like to use just a piece of it. And I can roll it into a ball. You can use one finger, two fingers, three fingers, whole hand. All right, do, 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 do. move everything out of the way. Let's make this look great. So let's say we really want to create some other colors or our secondary colors. If you want to create your secondary colors, you're going to put two primary colors together. So let's say we really want to make orange. We're going to put yellow and red together. Smash those babies. Oh yeah. Now, if I feel like this orange is not as bright as I want it, maybe it's a bit too red orange, what can I add to it to make it lighter? Yellow, of course. So I'll get some yellow, smack that in there, and mix it up. Yellow plus red equals orange. All right, now let's do blue and yellow. What will it make? We could probably use more yellow than blue because blue is going to take over. Smash that up. Hulk smash. So now I can say yellow plus blue equals green. Okay, now let's try blue and red. Do, 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 do. Got the way. Blue and red. What do they make? Red plus blue equals purple. Yay. Now, let's say I have my, so I have my primary colors here, yellow, red, and blue. And then I have my secondary colors of purple, orange, and green. I can make anything now because I know how to create these basic colors. How do you make brown? Well, you can mix any of your secondary colors together and it should make a brown green and orange make a sphere see some of the swirlies there if you are a perfectionist you can feel free to work those out if you're like me and you just don't care don't worry about it so I want this to be a nice round pizza so I'm gonna roll it a little bit and remember you can also do this with your fingers in fact I'm gonna move that out of the way and do the rest with my fingers get out of the way what are you doing coming back you sneaky little rolly over there. Okay, then 
peeking it nice and flat. Okay, so so far I have a really nice circle here. I like it. And I want the ends to kind of curl up, so I'm going to could put one finger here and then put the other finger towards it. Try not to get my nail in there. No nail. my pizza crust looking pretty good and I want to add my spud, my sauce it's sauce time so I can get this red here and just make another circle and smash that it nice and flat and round now this can get real thin we don't need it that thick because your sauce is typically not that thick and it's okay if it's kind of wiggly like that that's great because typically when you're putting the sauce down on your pizza it's not perfect Ooh, I made a hole so if you make a hole like that don't worry about it we can cover it up with cheese <laughs> Now I have sauce, and I can smooth it out with my finger. Look at that. No one will ever know. Okay, and it's time for cheese. Now, a lot of times your cheese is kind of this yellowy type of color here, and if you want it a little bit brighter, maybe you have a mixed cheese, don't know. You can put a little white in there. Roll it. I don't know if you noticed, but rolling your clay is pretty much the thing you do for almost everything. Okay, so that's kind of pretty looking cheese color there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a tootsie. Two finger tootsie. And then I'm going to keep going until this starts to turn into a long snake. So you're going to go roll, 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 roll. And as you roll, your fingers go further out towards the edges. And you may end up tearing off a piece, don't worry about it. No need to worry, you're here with Miss Stone. And as you see, it tore. Dun, 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 dun. Don't worry about it. So I'll just put this one over here and try to smooth out the lumpy part so it's a bit thinner and equals the rest of the string thing. Oh, you're disappearing. Look at that one. Ran off again. Run away. Run away, Clay. Okay. Now, so now I have all these little string pieces and what I can do is take all of them and start to place them. When you sprinkle your cheese, it is not going the same direction. Your cheese is going everywhere. All right, so now I'm going to kind of roll this crust just a little bit more. Makes my pizza look better. And smash. Roll and smash. Roll, smash. Roll, smash. Roll, smash. Roll and smash. You can kind of just make sure it's smooth. And yeah, it still keeps its circular shape. Mine is a bit square. No, a square pizza. Sure. I don't care which shape my pizza is. I still want to eat it. Okay. So now that I have the crust, the sauce, and the cheese, I need to think about the toppings. What are we gonna eat? Mm, mm, I'm hungry. Now we can decide to make some spinach and we can just get a little bit of this green and smash it. And since spinach 
can look like leaves or it could just look like lumpy stuff. You can feel free to just tear off a piece, tear off another piece. Just make sure it has a weird oblong shape and throw that on there. And if you really want to have a texture with the stick, now it has some texture. And now it's a good time to add some type of meat. Yum, yum, yum. Pepperoni is my go-to. And I don't want my pepperoni to look just like this red sauce here. Because typically your pepperoni is a bit reddish brown. So I'm going to get some red and some leftover brown. And I can make my own pepperoni color. So as you can make the ittiest, bittiest balls. So you just... Kind of put a small amount of clay and then roll it on your finger. Look at that little itty bitty butt. It's so cute. Oh, you're so cute, little friend. Yes, you are. And then you make another one. Oh, you cute little friend. Has a friend. Oh. And then you keep going. When you have all these little fantastic balls, you can just put them on top and then smash and I would put it really where you see a lot of cheese that way the contrast of your cheese and your pepperoni shows so you can really see the difference between that and the sauce right there smash smash and if you want to add I think I need one more that just looks like it's missing one more pepperoni and Go over here. Smash that. And if you want to give it texture, you can just go do, 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 poke some little holes in it. And smash. Oh, that pizza looks cool. And personally, I like pineapple. And if you have this kind of a rectangular shape, you can just point the ends Then it's pointy there, and then make it flat at the other end. So now you have a triangle. Kind of hard to do when it's really small, but it's still cool. Get it off. Whatever it is that you are creating, think about the shape that you see. It was pepperoni. We know that's typically circular. Pineapple typically comes in triangles. Okay, so then you want to add that in. Yay, so now I have a pizza. Let's make a drink and call it a meal. Say I have a ball of one color. Does not have to be perfect. And then turn it into a tutti. I'm gonna smash the bottom and pick it up. Okay, so now you have somewhat of a cup already and you wanna make sure it has like a lid and a straw. So I'll do that with this white here. Typically the lid is white. So I'll make a sphere. straight so make it as straight as possible and then I can do the kind that has that little curve a little bendy straw oh yeah bendy straw yeah this isn't perfect 
but so far it's a meal. So now I have a drink to go with my pizza. Yum, yum, yum. And you may decide that you want to add something else. I think it's great to have a meal of three items. So what I would do is I would make some type of little mini treat. And so like I have ice cream here, maybe I have a bowl of ice cream. How are you gonna make a bowl of ice cream, Miss Dawn? Well, let's see. smoothing out any lumps that I have. And then if you want that to melt, then use your fantastic little stick here and you can wiggle that out. Make sure it's a bit lumpy, doesn't look the same. If you want that ice cream to melt, you can get a little piece. piece on there. And use your finger to smooth that out. So let's see what we created. We have a little mini pizza, that's so cute. And ice cream for dessert. And a drink to wash it down. I consider this a full meal because you have your entree, a drink, and a nice dessert. If you don't have your primary colors of yellow, red, and blue, as well as that white and black on the side. Think about what you can create with what you have. So let's say you only had green, orange, and maybe some purple. You can make a whole bunch of grapes or plums and maybe the green leaves that go on top with maybe some green apples or green grapes, purple grapes, green grapes, mmm, delicious. And some oranges on the side or those little cute little small tangerines. I like the little cuties that are easy to unwrap. All of these different things you can make with the colors that you have. Don't feel obligated to make exactly what I made, a pizza, an ice cream, and a drink. Make whatever you want, work with whatever you have, and make it deliciously beautiful. Bye!